Hi guys, welcome back to Magazine TV. It's me, your girl Patricia, bringing you a favorite show, Gospel and Sport. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today we we'll bring you the 80th edition of the Golden Globe Awards that was held at Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills, California, and they were held live on in BC. And this year's edition was hosted by Jared and he opened up the show by blasting the awards history of the season. Well, um, this year's so I is the number of awards that were handed out since the Hollywood Foreign Press Association um, broke out its supporting actor and supporting actresses honors in two separate awards. Back then, they were categorized as one, but now, this time round, they were segmented and separated into two actor and actress. And yeah, this year's edition returned to NBC to be aired after being declined to be aired last year following the drama that the Hollywood Foreign Press Association had um, about racism engaging in unethical conduct and also having suspect financial practices. This led NBC to halt the airing of the awards last year. And um, speaking of the red carpet, well, these events are not really worth well if there's no red carpet. And the red carpet was filled with glamour, stunning looks by our celebrities, clad in beautiful dresses, gowns, taxes, taxi gowns, just visiting great fashion sense and style from different brand designs and owners like Valentino, Gucci. Um, Dosia and Gavana, among many others. The truth is hard to swallow. I think I'll chew in. Yeah. Well, um, among the celebrities in the red carpet was Jenna Ortega, who did not give her usual Wednesday Adams look on the red carpet as she was clad in an amazing. Gorgeous Gucci dress, exhibiting nice music. Um, Selena Gomez was clad in a Valentino dress and came to the red carpet with her sister Gracie as her plus one date. Well, among others, Michelle clearly understood the assignment as she was looking dazzling in a lavish kind of blue dress filled with sparkling diamonds. Among the awards that were given out, we had the Best Motion Picture Drama, which was won by Rafa Gomez, um, Best Performance by an Actress in Motion Picture Drama, was won by Kate Blanchard, and then Best Performance by an Actor in a Motion Picture Drama, was won by Austin Butler in Elvis. The ones that were handed out on Tuesday got to see the Fabermans and the Banshees of Insuring taking back top honors on the film side and about Elementary, House of the Dragon and the White Lotus, among other big TV winners. So among the winners we had Quinta Branson, Tyler James Williams, um, Angela Bassett, um, Colin Farrell, Jennifer Coolidge, Steven Spielberg, Michelle Yeo, Julia Garner, Zendaya, Kate Blanchett, Austin Butler, among other different individual women.
wish I knew. I wish I knew